Okay, so we do have a roamer on this grass right here. Hopefully it's Cresselia. Let's just hope it's shiny Cresselia here. And there we have it! Shiny Cresselia. All right. Nice. Hey guys, how's it going? Lazy Hunter here. Today I'm going to show you how to get a legitimate 100% guaranteed shiny Cresselia in Pokemon Platinum, Diamond or Pearl. This method also works with Romer Mesprit, but it does not work with the Romer Bird Legendaries. In this video, we're going to be using some RNG manipulation, so I assume you already know your trainer and Secret ID. And if you don't, please check out my video on how to RNG abuse your trainer and Secret ID. Now, in-game, there's a few things you're going to need. The first one is this coin flip app right here, which pretty much allows you to determine which seed uh, you got once you enter the game. And the second one is this one right here, which is the marking map, and it basically allows you to track the roamer's locations. Also, you're gonna need two chatouts with the move chatter recorded, okay? You just have to input your voice into the microphone of your Nintendo 3DS or Nintendo DS, and it will basically record a sound like this. Okay, and this basically allows us to advance the frames once we're in the right seat. So RF game, we're going to need a few tools. Okay, we're going to be using Poke Finder. Okay, the latest version should do it. And we're going to be using Eon Timer as well, so we can set the timer uh, to enter the game. Also, in game, you want to make sure that you save in front of your Roamer Legendary. What's going to happen after you talk with Cresselia? is that the RNG will stop at that particular moment, okay? The RNG manipulation happens once you talk with Cresselia, okay? Not when you encounter her uh, in the wild. So once we talk to her, she's going to flee. And if we did this correctly, she's going to be shiny once we catch her, whatever it is on the map. So I would advise you not to save until you're 100% sure that you got uh, the shiny Cresselia. So with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is come here to the Pocket Finder, okay? And you want to go to the Gen 4 tab and go to Static. Okay, since we're going to be RNG manipulating a static Pokemon. Now, you want to set your profile. Okay, I believe you do have your profile registered right here. If you don't, just add your profile like so. Okay, just click new here and add your profile with your trainer and secret ID. Okay, and you want to go to the searcher tab here. Okay, and on the min delay, this is like the default. Okay, 600 for platinum, diamond and pearl. As for the max delay, this is just how much you're willing to wait on your timer. Okay, I'm going to go for 6,000, but you can go like for 5,000, 8,000, doesn't really matter. As for the min and max advances, this is just the amount of advances that you'll have to do with the chat out chatters, all right? So I'll go for a max of 100, okay? I, I don't really want to wait too long here. As for the category, we're going to check uh, the roamers. And you want to go for the roamer that you want to catch here. So I want to go for Cresselia. She's always going to be on level 50. And in this filters box, you're going to input the IVs that you want for your Cresselia or Mesprit and you want to check this box that says shiny so I'm going to set this to start in square okay and I'm also going to pick a few stats here that I want and once you're happy with your search and you get some results you just want to pick something from this list now I'm actually going to go for this one right here okay so I'm going to go for a shiny Cresselia that it's timid and she has this particular IVs and she's going to be on advanced 50. This means that I'm going to have to do 45 advances with the chat out chatters in order to get this Cresselia, okay? And I'll tell you exactly why it's 45 and it's not 50. Now, once you get your target shiny frame, you want to copy this seed right here. So you just want to control copy this, control C, and then you want to come back to the Pocket Finder here, Gen 4 tools and seed to time. This window is going to pop up. You want to check this diamond, pearl and platinum uh, tab right here and you want to copy and paste the C that you got from these results okay the year doesn't really matter okay this is totally up to you I'm just going to go for this year so 2024 here as for the second this is also up to you okay I usually get, like to go for a second 20 because it this just translates in the amount of time that you have to wait okay on the first timer and once you're happy with this you can just click generate and you're going to get a bunch of results right here. Now, from this list, you can pick anything you want, okay? It's not going to have, like, any impact on your shiny, okay? It's always going to be the same. So, you just want to pick one of these seeds from this list. Now, another very important thing is this delay right here, okay? It says date and time, but it's actually delay. Now, in my case, I want to hit an even delay. As you can see, 1824. If I was hitting, like, 1823 or 1825, I could not hit this 1824 unless I did something about it. And that something is just changing the year right here. So if I change this to 2023, like that, like that, and just hit generate, as you can see now it, it appears 1825, and now I can hit these odd delays. So let's go back to 24 here, generate. So with that being said, we're gonna go for this seed right here. Now, as for the calibration, uh, usually you don't go higher than like 10 or minus 10. 
But in this case, I'm going to be increasing this to like 50, okay? Just to make sure we get enough results. As for the seconds, just leave it at minus and plus one because I don't believe anyone's going to beat the seconds by one, okay? Two is just way too much. So let's just do it like this and just hit generate. After hitting generate, what you get here, it's basically the results for like second 19, 20 and 21. And every single delay, minus 50 and plus 50 from your delay. So 1824, all right? And what you want to hit is basically this seed right here, which is the exact one that we chose earlier. So next, you want to open your Eon timer, okay? And you want to go to the fourth gen tab here, okay? You want to select this tab and you want to go to settings and go to timer and here you want to check the console that you're playing in in my case it's a nintendo ds okay uh, but you also have nintendo 3ds and dsi so just pick wherever console you're playing in and on the calibrated delay we want to set this to 600 okay which is the default for diamond platinum and pearl you do not touch the calibrated second okay leave it at 14. as for the target delay we're going to go for the 1824 right there so 1824 like that and as for the target second, we're going to set this to the second that we chose right here, okay? Or the one that you get from this seed. Now, once you do that, you want to restart your console. So let's restart the console here. And now you want to set the time and date of your console to the one from this seed. So in my case, it's going to be 2024 and it's going to be month one and day two, All right? So I'm just going to do that. And as for the time, we're going to set this to 16. But now a very important thing is that Eon Timer actually tells us be that minutes before target is one. So what do we have to do is basically decrease one minute from our target minute. So instead of 59, we're going to go for 58, like so. And once you do that, you're ready to start this RNG manipulation. So once we hit start on Eon Timer, we're going to press confirm on our Nintendo DS. So one, two, three, go. And now you want to shut down or restart your console like so you want to turn it on again and once the first timer ends you want to enter the game okay and on the second timer you want to wait on the save file selection until the second timer ends and then you press a to enter the game and what we're going to do afterwards is just check our seed with the coin flips all right so i'll see you guys in a sec all right so all right and now you want to go through the intro as fast as possible. You should have enough time, so it shouldn't be a problem. And then, like I said, you want to wait on the save file uh, selection screen. So this one right here. And once the timer ends, you just press A to enter the game. All right, let's go. Okay, and once we're in the game, what you want to do is basically check uh, your seed, okay? And we're going to do this uh, with the coin flips, right? So all you got to do now is come over here to the Gen 4 seed to time and do search flips. So just press this button and what we're going to do is just uh, hit this coin right here and check whether it's heads or tails. So let's start by doing that. So this is going to be the first one. So this one is tails. Let's go for the next one. This one's heads and you want to do this uh, until you get one possible result and you just press OK. Should be the last one here. So it's gonna be heads. Okay, and once you have one possible result, you just press okay, like that. And this will give you and highlight you uh, the result that you got. So in my case, I probably got this one. Okay, so I got the right second, but I hit 1800, okay, instead of 1824. So all you gotta do in this case is just get the delay that you got. So in my case, it's gonna be 1800. And you just come over here to the Eon timer and we just calibrate this thing. So 18. 100 like so and we just hit update and this will give us a new timer and we just basically go again so i'm just going to restart restart my console and go with our new timer and we're going to check uh the seed once again all right so let's change the time here to 1658 all right because we have one minute before target and we're going to start this one two three go Okay, and we just got one possible result, so let's hit OK here, and we got 1826. Okay, so that was very close. It means we are probably like one attempt away to get this seed right. So what I'll do is just fast forward until we get this right seed. Okay, guys, so we finally hit our seed. Okay, so I'm currently on 1824, and what we have to do now is just copy this seed and do the frame advances to get into our shiny frame. All right, so what you want to do is just copy this seed. And then you want to come back to the Gen 4 Static tab here, okay, from Pokefinder, and you want to go to Generator, okay? And here you want to paste your seed, 
Now, as for the max advances, this is just how much you want to like display in terms of frame advances. As I'm going to go for like advanced 50, I can go for like just 60 maybe. All right, so I'm just going to go do it like that. And then you want to hit generate. Okay, and now you get a bunch of results. Okay, and each of these results represent a frame. Okay, and the way you're going to advance these frames until you get into your shiny frame. So mine is going to be on shiny frame 50. Okay, this one right here, as you can see, it has the, the star shiny. Okay, it's the timid one that I wanted. And the way we advance these frames is by looking at the chat out summary. And the way you recognize uh, the chat out pitches is with this column right here, which says chat out. Okay, this is going to be a mid high. This is going to be, be a mid. This is a mid. This is a low. And you basically just want to hear the chat outs. Okay, and kind of like recognize whether it's a mid high, a mid, a low. Okay, and that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to go into my Pokemon here. And once I hit summary, I'm going to check whether it's a mid high or a mid. Okay, should be either one of these. And then I'm going to keep going until I get into frame 45. Okay, so you want to be five frames before your target shiny frame. Okay, and this is very important. And once you're five frames before your shiny target, you want to talk to Cresselia or Mesprit, and then you'll get your shiny legendary. So let's look at this shout out summary here. So I'm going to look at its summary. Okay, that looks like a low. So let's go to the next one. That looks like a mid high. Probably mid low. That's definitely a high. Mid high. High. Low. Okay, and I'm finally on frame 45 here. So what I'm going to do is just back out. Okay, you, wanna, you don't want to advance any more frames. And you just basically want to talk to your shiny uh, Rumble Legendary. Okay, guys, so now to catch Shiny Cresselia, all we have to do is just follow the roamers, okay? I actually have the four roamers laying around, which is kind of bad, but it is what it is. I mean, I have a 25% encounter. Now, the best way to do this is to be between two routes so you can switch and get the roamers as fast as possible, okay? In this case, I'm going to be between Route 205 and Valley Windworks, okay? It's just easier. We have the grass here and we have the grass up there as well. Now, the best way to do this is to use Max Repel and have a very high level Pokemon in the leader of your party, okay? As long as it's not higher than 50 that way you only get the legendary roamers also i've already attempted to catch this shiny chrysalia on my save file the thing is that i used brelum okay and i put her to sleep and she fled so what you guys will see is that she's going to be asleep once we find her also, if you guys are trying to do this with a Pokeball or any Pokeball at all, as you can see, my Sableye has 111 speed, okay, of base stat. And as you can see right here on Pokefinder in the Gen 4 static, the target I was going for, for Cresselia, it actually has 107 speed base speed okay so we actually know this for a fact and that basically allow me to like build a good sableye with more speed than my Cresselia so i can use min look before she flees and the way you show these stats is by checking this box right here of show stats on pokefinder okay so we do have a roamer on this grass right here hopefully it's Cresselia. let's just hope it's shiny Cresselia here and there we have it shiny Cresselia. all right Nice. Okay, guys, so I've used a few dozen Pokeballs, like many, many Pokeballs. So what I'm going to do is just jam a Master Ball here because this Cresselia might actually run out of PP moves and then she's going to use Struggle and she's going to hurt herself and she's just going to die. So I'll just use a Master Ball here and we're just going to catch this Shiny Cresselia. Okay, and now we're going to check this Shiny Cresselia so you guys can see that it's exactly the timid one that I was looking for. So as you can see right here, Here's the timid nature, okay, the one that we were looking for. And here are the base stats. So as you can see, 81 attack, 140, 91, 144, and 107. So this is the exact target that we were looking for. And here's the shiny Cresselia. So that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you on the next one. So it's been Lazy Hunter, and I'm out. Peace.